A 7 Eyewitness News covering some breaking overnight news right now. Nearly 60 firefighters called out to this house fire in the Lovejoy area of Buffalo. They were fighting fires that actually went between two different buildings. So take a look. This fire started inside a building on East Lovejoy, right near Davy Street, about 2 30 this morning. This is some video coming in from our breaking news photographer, Dave Thompson, who's at the scene for us all morning. About a half hour later, crews needed more help getting things under control. Firefighters were fighting the fire from the inside and the outside, but those firefighters, those same firefighters, soon encountered bigger problems, radio trouble. Take a listen to this. That was a major problem that officers and uh, firefighters faced there at this scene. Our breaking news photographer Dave Thompson was speaking with folks who live around the area who would say there was no one inside this building, but right now it's also unclear how this fire actually started. Yeah, and that's how you couldn't even hear what was happening. And 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twilon Nugent is live at the scene for us right now telling us a little bit more. Twilon. Katie, good morning. Now, as you said, this fire did start early this morning, but it's still an extremely active scene going on. Just take a look behind me of all the firefighters still on scene here, cleaning up all of the equipment they had used to fight this fire. Now, if you take a look, it was right between those two buildings, the green and white ones here. It was two structures involved. Occupants were actually in the upper floor of the white um, house there, but the green one was actually unoccupied and vacant. I spoke to the couple that was actually sleeping in bed. They didn't hear anything, they didn't smell anything uh, until they heard knocks at their door from a police officer who came to make sure they were getting out. Now, those two people are displaced currently. They are uninjured this morning, and uh, one firefighter was injured in this firefight. And now it's still active right now with many firefighters on scene, just making sure they have put out every single bit of fire because uh, Commissioner Whitfield said there is possibility of some fire still hiding in that building and floorboards in the walls and areas. But we have lots of response here with several firefighters, as you said, up to 60 of them. And they did have some commu communication issues. Let's listen to what Commissioner had to say about that. There were some radio problems. We had uh, some uh, communication issues. Uh, the chief on the scene uh, ordered everybody to a different channel. That seemed to alleviate it for the most part. But early on, there were some radio communication issues. Not sure what uh, you know what uh, caused that. Uh, that's something we have to look into. As you might imagine, the communication is very important on the fire ground. Uh, we did have some members that got in a little trouble early. Again, those problems he mentioned early on included a firefighter taken to ECMC with injuries. Now, at this time, we do know his shoulder was injured. We're unsure of how serious his injuries are. We, of course, will keep you updated. There's still no word yet on the cause of this fire, but we, of course, will bring you more information as we learn it on our WKBW mobile and tablet apps live in the Lovejoy area of Buffalo. Tweelon News, 7 Eyewitness News. Tweelon, thank you very much. The problem here first started about a half hour after the fire started. We were listening to the